Hello and welcome. My name is Amundi and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a database using PHP. Okay, so database is going is going to be the MySQL database which comes with XM. So it's basically MariaDB you can see it here. And so I've got few databases I'm going to use this one and within this I'm going to display all the values from this table by skills okay so I've got everything running my server both servers are running so P Apache and MySQL so this is the folder that I have in my HD docs under XM folder on this drive you can see it here XM HD docs and I've got this document in which I've got these files very simple now in these files I've got index.php db.php style.css so in p index.php I'm just requiring that db.php which has all the credentials and everything in order to display the values field values of the table on the browser or on the view part so let's quickly go over this code here so there are four steps to connect to a database and retrieve data and display it on the view so the first step is basically you need the credential database credential to in order to connect to the database so there are four credentials first is the host name it's going to be localhost on the local environment database name is going to be the database name your database name not mine then the database user is going to be if you have created a user and uh, in my case it's my username and password if you haven't created you simply type root and you can leave this blank in case if you don't have password for the database on XM or any other server that's the credential part which is step one the second step has like you have multiple options to create uh, to connect to a database using PHP this is basically uh, very procedural way to connect to a database so you are typing the simple command to connect to and then you can perform the queries if you do that basically you have to type a lot of code so I'm not going to use that one I'm going to use the second way to connect to the database which is most preferred and it's good way so basically here we are going to in use the mysqli class based query here so you are basically initializing this mysqli and giving uh, putting all the values in this variable so so connection values okay so you are basically connecting and putting everything in here so in this mysqli initialization you got to have four values okay so the first has to be the host name order matters over here so the host name then user name okay then user password for the database and the database itself so that's the second step in third we are going to perform the mysql query to get all the field values from the database okay so and we are going to put all the values in this variable here which is bicycles so I've got a table name bicycles so I've taken that name for simplicity to remember it for myself and then I'm going to perform inbuilt query of this mysql mysqli so I'm taking this variable and performing a query so this is to perform the SQL query 
okay so that's a connection and then you are creating all those values from the bicycles table so select star means everything from this table so I've got everything here now let's quickly go ahead and view those values so retrieve all those values and loop through the table rows and columns as well so you can see here i've created a table in table head i've got these uh, titles or head table head so i've got two eight uh, eight fields so over here you can see okay so that's the table header and then in body i'm going to loop through the the values table values so i'm going to use for each loop php for each loop and in for each loop i'm taking two values so by skills which is here on the very top the sql query variable and then this is basically in plural so i'm going to take that as a singular this you have to remember it so basically in the loop we are starting the code block which is basically the opening curly brace and then you're closing the php uh, code block over here and then you're starting with this html and within the, this html you've got is uh, php again so you are going to echo the value so by skill value of each row so this means basically each row okay and within that row you are um, calling that particular value field value so id and then brand so this is how you do it okay it's very simple the most important part you have to close this for each uh, block block code uh, code block you can say <laughs> it's called code block so basically you are closing that here so you have to make sure that you close the uh, for each code block with the, like this way this works like under php environment so this is how you basically connect to a database and retrieve um, the values database and table values and display them on the view part so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel you can find all the code from the link below so Thanks again. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye for now. Happy coding.